Welcome back to MusketeersHockey.com for the Coach's Corner as we get ready for two big weekend games against Fargo and Tri-City. I'm Jordan Bergen. With me is Musketeers head coach Luke Strand. Coach, uh, let's get right into it. Let's first discuss uh, last weekend. You had a great start to the week, 53 shots, played a great, uh, you know, ended up being over 65 minutes of great hockey. Poppy gets the OT winner, and then you just have the tough game against Sioux Falls, and, and uh, you blow another two-goal lead. And just uh, as you've had a couple days uh, to digest that loss, just what, what was the most disappointing aspect of that regulation loss uh, against the Stampede? Well, I think the, the biggest part for me is you score three goals one way, and then we tried to score four, five, and six, uh, doing something completely different. And when you got a two-goal lead and it's three to one, you don't need another goal to win you got to do things correctly and uh, those things slip from us and uh, selfishly I think guys got uh, a little bit hungry for some things to happen and instead of letting things happen by making a, a Sioux Fall team you know get excited or or, or you know over pressing uh, we went and did it and it, it bit us in the backside. And, uh, you know, you assess this losing streak going back to, to January 7th against Youngstown. In those 13 losses in those 17 games, you've had the lead in, in, in seven of those games, and just it's kind of been an epidemic with those blown leads right now. Do you think it's a complacency issue, just guys not being positionally right? Uh, as you take a lead, what do you think has been the biggest factor in that the aspect of, of the team's struggles lately? No, I think the, the biggest thing is managing the pocket and making sure guys, and at the end of the day, you're going to give up chances, and you got to get some saves when it counts. And, uh, both both sides of it. I think we, we got to do a better job in front of our goaltenders, both getting pucks behind their defensemen and behind the other team. Um, same time, when they do come down, we got to be able to put a stop to it. And, uh, you know, offense still rolling, though, uh, since uh, Kraus came on board. Uh, you've outshot six of your last eight opponents, almost averaging uh, uh, three goals a game in your last eight games. So uh, it seems like even strength opportunities, uh, I mean, shots aren't everything, but it's a pretty good indication of the puck possession of this team right now. So as far as that aspect, are you pleased with the amount of goals you're scoring lately? Yeah, I mean, sh I think shots and I think scoring chances are, are been in our favor here for a while. And um, the, the odd game that they're not, it's it's – it's been very few and far between, so we got to find different ways to score goals. I think we found um, some guys doing some things harder, with, but getting to the net and, and playing without the puck that way. And same time, uh, uh, when it is a tight game and, and you do have a, a special team opportunity, whether it's a kill, you got to shut them down, or if it's power play, you got to step on their throat. And uh, some of those chances have come back and, and haunted us in, in these close games that we haven't taken care of. And, uh, you know, yeah, just talk about the week of practice, uh, another tough week where you absorb a tough loss, but again, you're doing a lot of good things right, just as, as points become real precious here, only 16 games left, what's been uh, the biggest message of the guys this week? No, just, you know what, just that, I mean, it's uh, it's about a team being mature, you got to be, we got to grow as a team and, and uh, leads and, and playing with the lead and playing without a lead are mature factors for a team to grow through it. And, Right now, uh, our group has taken steps forward, and then we take a step back, and we, we got to continue to march forward. Otherwise, if we take too many more steps back, it, this will be too late. And a couple injury issues. Uh, Jake uh, Suter ended up missing that game against Sioux Falls, played a great game against Tri-City. And then Troy Hescath, a defenseman that you brought over in late December, suffered a concussion with Chicago. The fans haven't been able to see him. He's a terrific young talent, a third-round pick of the Edmonton Oilers. Uh, what are the two statuses of uh, two-year defenseman for this weekend? Uh, Suits is a little bit, uh, he, I think he's going to get cleared here as the weekend comes closer. Uh, Hess came off uh, IR today. Uh, we, we'll, we'll get him in one of the two games, I'm quite certain, this weekend and uh, make sure he's back into it full game shape. And, and uh, he's been after here for a couple of weeks about trying to really get you know, reps in and getting uh, some, some game situations from live bullets. Uh, but th there's nothing like game shape, so we'll have to get him in one of these two games. It's the kind of situation where he's just been in so long you can't expect him to go in and play 23 minutes in this first game, kind of just ease him back in uh, as he gets his feet back under him and knock off the rust in that first game? Yeah, I mean, it's going to be part of that, and, uh, you know, there's a chance we even go 70 just for the fact we can continue to rotate through and, and get some guys some more minutes, and uh, he can be a valuable piece, big kid, lots of skating and ability, offensive touch. Um, he's got a good stick, so he'll he'll end up being a piece of this puzzle. And, and right now, it's it's kind of nice. You got a really fresh body coming in the lineup. Right, and uh, you know, before we touch on uh, Tri City, you got a big game. Uh Friday against a division rival Fargo, and you know uh, when you've observed Fargo, just a really terrific defensive team, third in the league, only gives up 2.4 goals a game, and the defend or the other goaltender, both goaltenders, Gothberg and Masser, in the top seven uh, and, and uh, goals against, and uh, you've scored seven goals in six games against this team. So, well, first of all, why is this team so difficult to to, to get scored uh, to get scored against? And uh, secondly, it just seems like they're they're a really solid team because they can really throw uh, two or three really solid lines at you. Well, I think their their forward depth makes them uh, offensive possession team. So I don't know how many teams go out there and really blow the doors off them uh, in their defense. Um, so their offense might be their best defense at that point. Um, but I can say this for us, uh, they got two terrific goalies. Gothberg's been a star against us. Um, we've had a chance to beat Massa a couple times, but at the same time, um, he's very credited goalie himself. Um, they got a talented decor, it's big. They got the mobile in Cooper. 
Um, you know, they've got some good depth on that team, and at the end of the day, they're at the, they're in the pole position in the in the division right now for a reason. And uh, but at the same time, there's there's things in in places at hand here that we got to take care of, and and one of them we just worry about Friday night and what we can take care of from us getting pucks behind them and getting to their net. And uh, your goaltender, at least for Friday night, uh, you know, we're filming this on Thursday. Not sure if you come to decision yet, but uh, either way, I know you're looking for, for either Scoffer and Hildy to, to still grab that reins of that, that number one job. Yeah, I mean, you, you're, you want guys that, uh, that want that piece of the puzzle. I mean, they've got to they gotta compete for their spot and their ice and their time. Um, you know, some guys have had success against certain teams and, and others not so much. So that, that's going to go into it. At the same time, uh, one of these two have got to got to grab onto this thing. And, if neither of them do it, this will be a struggle. If one of them does it, we're going to be in a great spot. Thanks, Coach, and good luck this weekend. Thank you. Musketeers head coach Luke Strain, and come on down to the barn. Uh, first home game since, uh, since uh, February 12th against Fargo on Friday night. Puck drops at 7.05 at Tyson Event Center.